we're going to talk about the power theorems. So they sound really cool, but they're, they're, I guess they are pretty cool. They're just proportions, basically. So the first power theorem is that if two chords of a circle intersect inside the circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord are equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other. So in this diagram I've drawn here, hmm, there is no E. I guess I should label this point as E. Okay, there we go. Uh, EV times EN is equal to EL times e, uh, ES. Okay, um, you actually proved this already. Um, this was a proof uh, in the last video or the one before, where basically you, you set up similar triangles, where if we draw lines connecting V and L and S and N, and then prove the two triangles are similar, then you can prove that um, corresponding sides of similar triangles are similar, and that's where that one comes from. Power theorem two. The square of the measures of the tangent segment are equal to the product of the entire secant segment and its external part. So here's what that means. I have a tangent segment, PT, okay? You can see it is tangent to the circle, it is a segment. TP squared is equal to P times Q, which is the external part of the secant segment, times P times R, which is the full secant segment. So this one, you just have to remember, people mess this up because they do RQ times QP, don't do that. You're doing PQ times PR, okay? The whole thing times just the external part. Don't do internal times external. And the final power theorem is in a secant secant angle, the product of each entire secant segment and the external secant segment are equal. Um, so that means that if I take AB, or not AB, sorry, if I take BP, I'm doing the thing I just told you not to do, BP times AP is going to equal PC times PD, okay? So whenever you have a secant segment, you're doing external times entire thing equals, and if it's another secant segment, external times entire thing, or if it's a tangent segment, then just the tangent segment squared, okay? Those are the three power theorems. Um, they're gonna be useful in solving a, a decent array of problems. So let's look at some examples here. I have three circles set up. So for this first one, I have two chords intersecting inside, so I can use um, the first theorem, the, the chord chord theorem, right? So here I can say that three times x is equal to six times two. So three x equals 12 and x equals four. Okay, so nice and easy. But you know, this problem, just think about it, like without that theorem, this problem would have been nigh impossible to solve, right? Um, we would have needed some more information. So here we can just use this kind of proportionality to, to solve it. All right, now let's look at one that is a secant and a tangent. So I know that y squared y is this little bit here, right, the tangent segment, y squared is going to be equal to 2 times the full secant segment, so times 18, okay, not times 16. So that's going to be y squared equals 2 times 18 is 36, so y will be 6, right? Could be negative 6, but obviously that doesn't make any sense. Uh, and the final one, for example, one here, um, I can say that 3 times z, because z is the entire thing here, that's what this is trying to show, is going to be equal to 4 times 8 plus 4 is 12, right? You're not doing 4 times 8, you're doing 4 times 8 plus 4 is 12. So 3z equals 48, and z is therefore equal to 16, okay? So you can pretty easily find any missing sides you need of any kind of chords that are, are, are in angles like this. Uh, one more example we'll do. Let's say I have a circle drawn like this, uh, where segment PT is eight centimeters. So I'll just fill that in here. Uh, the radius is six centimeters. So this is six centimeters and this is six centimeters. Uh, and I wanna find PQ. Well, if I wanna find PQ, I know that eight centimeters squared has to be equal to, um, let's call this segment X. X times x plus 12 centimeters, right? Because it's going to be the full length of the chord. So then this is actually somewhat complicated. So this is 64 square centimeters equals x squared plus 12 centimeters times x. And this is a quadratic. So now I have x squared plus 12 centimeters times x uh, minus 64 centimeters squared equals zero. 
Quadratics will follow you everywhere, no matter what you do. Um, so we can factor this, right? I can factor this into x minus 4 centimeters times x plus 16 centimeters equals 0. Uh, and then x is equal to 4 centimeters, or x equals negative 16 centimeters. This obviously doesn't make sense, so this is the answer that we want. Okay, so PQ equals 4 centimeters. Great. And that's it. Uh, again, the theorems, you know, are pretty easy to apply. The only thing you really have to remember is that if you have a secant segment, you don't do inside, uh, sorry, inside times outside. You do outside times the entire thing. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.